Hello and welcome back to another video. In this video we're going to be going over rotatable custom block models and we're going to be creating a custom block model for our display case block. So the first thing we're going to want to do is to head over to blockbench.net and download Blockbench, which is the software that we're going to be using to create our model. So let's hit download and then we can select the download that we want. So I'm going to download it for Windows and that's going to download a blockbench.exe. And once that has downloaded, we can open Blockbench and it's going to install Blockbench for Windows. And once it's installed, it's going to open Blockbench. And once it's opened Blockbench, we can create a new block because that's what we're going to be doing. We can also make a entity in Blockbench later. So let's just click Java block item. And now we need to create the name. So I'm just going to call it display case. And then let's click confirm. And now we're in Blockbench, which is similar to other 3D modeling software. So first we need to create a cube by going to the outliner and adding add cube. And that's going to add a cube over here. And then we can move this cube around, change its position and size over here. I'm making a display case, so I'm going to set the size here to 10 by 10. And then I'm going to move it over here like so. It's important to note that this is a 16 by 16 grid and to make up one block it has to be 16 by 16 by 16. So let's change this to the base and then let's add another cube called the pillar and then let's set this to a 4 by 4 and let's make it 8 high. And now we can move this to the middle of the model and then let's move it up 1. Finally I'm going to create the top and I'm also going to set it to a 10 by 10 and then move it up here. So now that we've done our model we can add a group and let's rename this group to voxel shapes and we have to make sure it's called this exactly. Now let's drag this to the top and drag our base, pillar and top into voxel shapes. Then we can select voxel shapes and create a new texture. Let's name this display underscore case. And then we need to check template, click confirm, and then click confirm again. And this is going to temporarily texture all of our sides and create a texture that we can see over here. So let's go to the paint tab, and then we can paint over our texture. And I'm not going to spend too much time on this, as I'm not very good at creating textures. So once we are done, let's go to file, plugin, and then let's go to available and search for mod utils. And we want to make sure to select this one by JTK222. So let's click install. And that's going to install the Mod Utils plugin. So now we can close this. And what this is going to do is allow us to export this model as a voxel shape. However, I'm going to change this model up a little bit just so we can see it working in the game. So let's just create a, another thing up here just like so, so we can see which direction it's facing. However, this isn't going to have a color, so we actually need to recreate this. So let's just select this, create a new texture, call it display case, check template, confirm, confirm, and then we can paint over it again. Now that we have our model and our texture, we can export it. So let's select the voxel shapes group. This is very important. Let's go to file, export and we can export block slash item model and I'm just going to save it to this folder here and let's name it to our mod item so let's call it displaycase.json and save that and then we can do file export voxel shape and this will export everything under the voxel shapes group as a voxel shape so let's click export keep the mappings as mcp and then we can save it to here, so let's just call it voxel shape and then click save. And this is going to export our voxel shape when it's facing north, and that's very important. However, in order to rotate it, we need to set the anchor point to the correct position, because currently, well, it's up here. So for this cube in the middle, we're just going to set the anchor point to 8, 8, so it's directly in the center like so. And we're going to make sure to do the same thing on the cube, the pillar, and the base. So if we look at this as a compass, we have north, west, east, and south. So now let's go back into Blockbench, and we're looking here. So we're going to have west this way, 
east this way and south that way. So as you can see, this is currently facing east. So now let's make it face north, like so. So we have this here facing north. Then let's save it and then export it as a voxel shape again. And this time we're going to say voxel shape north and click save. Now let's rotate it again so it's facing west. Then we can click off and export it again. And this time let's set it to voxel shape west. And finally, let's make it point south and then go to file export and change it to voxel shape south. And once we've done that, we've got the voxel shape in all four directions. Now we need to add them to the code. So let's go into our class for our display case block and we need to add a property for its direction. So let's create a public static final direction property. Let's call it facing and set it equal to block state properties dot horizontal facing. And in our constructor, we can do this dot set default state to this dot state container dot get base state dot with, and then we need to give it a property. So facing and then the direction, which is direction. We need to import this from net dot minecraft dot util dot north. So by default, it's going to be placed north. So next, let's add a couple of functions to save this facing. First, we're going to need a mirror and let's suppress warnings deprecation. And then we can return state dot rotate. And then we need to pass in the rotation, which is going to be mirror in dot to rotation state dot get facing. Next, we need to override rotate and we need to select this first one over here. So we can return state dot with and then we can do facing and then we can do direction dot rotate state dot get facing. And those are our mirror and rotate functions. Then we need to override get state for placement and then we can return this dot get default state dot with then we can set the facing to context dot get placement horizontal facing dot get opposite. And that's going to make sure that when we place the block, it places in the correct direction. And finally, we need to override fill state container, which is going to allow us to control the model in our block state. So first let's call super dot fill state container. And then we're going to do dot builder dot add facing. And that's it for our facing variable. But now we need to change the voxel shape depending on which way we are facing. So next we need to create a private static final voxel shape. And let's call this shape north. And then we can set it equal to the thing that we have in our export. So here is the voxel shape file that we exported for north. So let's just select everything, copy it and paste it in here. Then we can do control shift O to import stream. That's going to throw an error, so right here we just need to type get. Next, we can copy all of this and paste it three times. Then this is east, west, and south. So let's copy the one that we have for east, paste it into here, and then add dot get at the end. And let's do that for all of them, like so. Next, we can press control shift F to auto sort everything to make it look a little bit cleaner and just add some breaks here. And that is our voxel shape. So finally, let's override get shape. And then we just need to return the correct voxel shape. So let's add a switch on state dot get facing. Then we can hover over this and add missing case statements. And we can delete the down, up and north cases and in default we're going to return shape north in west we're going to return shape west and we can just copy this to south and to east so here we return east and here we return south and that is it for our block class so now we need to create the jsons so in source main resources assets block state let's create a block state for our display case. And we can just copy the one from the quarry and paste it here. However, now we need to change the block model rotation depending on which way it's facing. Here we can do if facing is north, we can use 
the display case block model. And then we can just copy all of this three more times and add commas over here. So let's change this to facing south, facing east, and facing west. If it's facing south, we can do comma, y, 180. Then we can copy this over here, change this instead of 180 to 90, and this to 270. And that's it for our block state. Now let's fill in the lang file. So let's do block.tutorialmod.display case is equal to display case. Next, let's go back into our model because next we need an item model. So let's go into display and let's apply a preset. We're going to say default block apply to all slots. And this is just going to set some values for the default block. So where it's held in the armor stand, etc. We can do this manually, but this is the easiest way to do it. And as you can see, we have default rods, weapons, blocks, and items. So now we can click file export block slash item model. And once again, save it as display case.json and we can override the previous one that we saved. So now let's create our item model. We can just copy the quarry one, change it to display case. And in here, we can change the quarry over here to display case. Here we need to paste the, the block model that's already ex in block, we need to paste the block model that's been exported. So here's the block model that we exported. So let's copy that and paste it into here. And if we open that, we can see a very long block model file that's been generated. Here you can have the credit, you can re remove this if you want, or keep it. We need to keep the texture size, but we need to change the texture. Because this is going to use a Minecraft default texture, so let's just add our mod ID, like so, and change this block to blocks. Then let's copy this and paste it for the particle. And now we can press Control shift f to auto-format it, which is going to generate us a long block model JSON file. And finally, we need to add our texture into our blocks folder. So now in Blockbench, we can click over here to save the texture. And let's just save it as texture.png. Click OK. And back here, we can drag this texture.png into blocks. Click OK. Right click. And rename this to display case.png. And that's it. Now we can run the game. So I actually made a mistake in the rotations. This should be 270, 90, 0, and then 180. A quick tip, if you don't want to reload the game and you've just made changes to the JSONs in the asset package, you can go into the game and press F3 and T, and this will just reload everything in the assets folder. And now we can see that we have our display case that we can place in all different directions, and we can open it, and it still has the tile entity. In the next episode, we're going to be rendering the item that's inside of here on top of the display case to, well, actually make it display our item. Thank you for watching. If you need any help, join the Discord, and I'll see you next time.